again guys it's ricardo and welcome to another blog tech tips so today i have a very interesting tutorial and i'll be showing you how to use bixby which is um, samsung's digital assistant and once bixby is on your device you can actually use this to actually identify various images that you might have on your device or this might come in handy is in cases where you have an image and you're not sure what that image is you can actually use bixby and identify what a picture is or you could take it a step further and find similar images in order to do this first go into your gallery or take a picture of anything such as a toy or so on that you do not know what it is um, make sure it's in the camera roll once it's in the camera roll, let's go ahead and find the picture all right so as you can see here i've given it something simple so here we have as everybody know what this is already but just in case you did not know what you can do is just go ahead and look for the big c icon up here in the upper section of the screen that looks like an eye right beside the art um, symbol and he's going to go ahead and tap the Bixby um, symbol right away you'll notice this view window you can actually shrink or make it get larger um, the higher res the better the resolution of the image it would be the easier for the software to actually identify what the image is so as you can see there it's scanning and you see the image symbol click on the image symbol in the suite Make sure you're connected to the internet as well. As you can see here, it identifies it correctly as being a fidget spinner. And it also shows you various styles of fidget spinners. And we can just go through, as you see here. All right. And of course, this engine is powered by Pinterest. So I guess basically it will be taking the images from Pinterest. So it's trying to identify it based on um, Pinterest. And you can actually see the tags up here. And it identifies it as a spinner, fidget, fidget spinner and spinner and so on all right so it's gonna go back let's try something a little bit more complicated so i'm just gonna go back to my gallery next i'm gonna go over and as you can see here something a little bit more complicated here we have this toy and i'm gonna do the same thing again so i'm just gonna hit it once i'm gonna zoom in it should be about correct and i'm gonna hit image and what's gonna happen is gonna find similar images and of course it shows up here various pictures and you can go through and find one that actually looks like the image and here it says it says little pet shop and i think this one matches based on the eyes as you can see with the image here so i think this thing might be something related to little pet shop all right and it shows you that it's a bunny rabbit and it gives it's given a number and so on all right so you can see other styles of this um, item here as you can scroll through some of them match, some of them are off, and so on. Doesn't mean that it's 100% accurate. Next, I'm going to try something else that's other than um, toys. All right, so here I have what everybody knows is a strawberry plant. And of course, here we have a nice strawberry. So I'm just going to see if it can actually identify or find similar images of the strawberry. And you can just go ahead and tap. I'm just going to zoom in. As like I said, the better the resolution of the image, the more accurate, meaning if you can get close to the subject and the subject is larger, you can hit um, search. And there it goes. And it shows here a plant, a strawberry here. You look down here. This one is not a strawberry, but you notice it says up here it's um let's zoom in. It's a strawberry fruit, something from a garden. So a strawberry. It's gonna scroll down. Identifies again, strawberry. And you can see it shows several strawberries. So it does identify it as being a strawberry. So as you see guys, um the Bixby feature is quite cool. You can use it as a reverse image search to identify what objects that you do not know are and so on based on um, just the image alone. So alright guys, this is Ricardo from Blog Tech Tips and another quick tech tip. Saying bye until next time. Bye.